I am now switching to a full screen view and uh, clicking on this link to Apache NetBeans website, which is netbeans.org. So if you'd like to install or upgrade a current version of your NetBeans, you should click on download. And uh, the first link here, find out more and download. And choose uh, the version that matches your platform, either Windows or Linux or Mac computer. So you just click on the, for instance, I'm using uh, Windows 10 here. So I just click this, which will bring me to the download page. You can just click on the, it will let you download the installer. You run this installer and you should be all set. Uh, just by executing these steps. Our first homework assignment is our first Java application and this is the link uh, to the handout. And in this handout we're going to um, get started with NetBeans. Just follow the set of instructions I will now resize my web browser uh, window and try to fin fit everything on my screen. I already have Apache NetBeans ID 11 running. So this is the start page. I normally just close this. And here in this area, you can just uh, say File, New Project. And uh, there are some choices for you to make here. Uh, Maven and Ant. Uh, are popular building systems that come with Apache NetBeans. Uh, let's try Apache with Ant. And uh, our choice will be a Java application, which is a standard, standard edition Java application, which will be sufficient type of uh, all features and all libraries that uh, come with standard edition in this semester. So I recommend that you make this choice and you create your project using uh, these options. So once again, you go file, create new project, click Java with Ant and choose your Java application. Go to the next screen. Uh, and before you accept default options on this dialog box, I suggest that you actually organize your directory structure. So in my case, I have my directory structure is pretty simple. I have my C drive, BCC is the subfolder. And here I would just go ahead and create a new folder. CIS157 and uh, use this location for all the projects that I'm going to create uh, using um, NetBeans for our coursework. So you can just copy this location from here, just control C or copy and use the project location as simple as this. Just copy and paste it like this. Project name will be added here as a subfolder or directory. So this name here corresponds to the directory name. Um, I advise very strongly that you don't use spaces in these names in the both uh, path to your location and project name. Just avoid using spaces. This will create uh, uh, less problems for you. So right here, uh, because we're uh, working on assignment one, we can name our project homework one. You see that there is an option to generate a main class in your application. I will talk about this option later on. Uh, for now, this is uh, okay to use this as a, uh, as a name uh, prompted by default. And as soon as I click finish, you should be able to observe right here that a uh, directory is created and is named homework one, just like um, I specified in my project name. So right here in our homework assignment, I'm asking you to add uh, a block comment at the top of your program 
uh, it will probably the the wizard that creates this file uh, will probably insert this uh, authorship um, uh, reference uh, citing you as a user but uh, separate from this I want you to change this uh, comment right here which starts with an um, uh, forward slash asterisk and uh, let me resize this uh, just to make everything visible and uh, it starts with forward slash asterisk and closes with asterisk forward slash I sometimes don't like the colors of uh, various types of syntax that um, is automatically generated here. So you can go to Tools, Options, and here Fonts and Colors allows you to configure uh, the default font and uh, all sorts of colors so for example here if I want to update the colors of my comments you can highlight uh, the comment which is this example here and here you can change your color I will switch to magenta for example if you click apply you will see that the <clears throat> colors got updated and now back to the default uh, settings I'd like to also change my font uh, to a larger font to begin with uh, you don't have to make this change it's just for me because I'd like to uh, start with larger font I'd like to resize this window one more time just to make sure that we can see our handout and the, uh, the source file that we're using here so the wizard that we uh, uh, activated to generate our first project uh, added the first source file to our project and it's located right here on this tree view of our project uh, structure so uh, right here I'm asking you for the assignment number assignment title and program author uh, just to make sure that you specify these things so you can replace these three um, lines with your own entries like this and just be specific what uh, what you're you're doing if you want to select multiple lines you can use tab to uh, change the alignment of a block of text and the shift tab brings it back so you can press tab to to increase the space indentation or a shift tab to decrease it that's pretty pretty useful function okay I'll just remove this comment here to save some space uh, so that it gives me more chances to work um, on on this project so the overall structure of your first Java application is that uh, you need to have a placeholder a class uh, with a specific name this can be anything you can actually rename this later if you don't like it if you want to change the name of it but this is the name of the class that represents your entire application now uh, main here is a method which um, is invoked when the program starts so for example if I want this application to print hello world message on computer screen I need to pass this uh, literal string to a system method system dot out dot print print line I usually use this method to print individual um, strings and uh, you also need to finish this line with a semicolon at the end this is a complete programming statement which passes this uh, string of characters to a method named print line print ln stands for print line and uh, this will be sent to the output uh, standard output stream which is located in inside a system class